My name is Daniel Ogong. Um, I'm currently the marketing director uh, for Now Breweries Limited in Uganda. Um, I've been with the business uh, just over 10 years, having joined it back in, in April 2002. Um, and I must say, I'm, I'm really, really privileged uh, to have been part of the evolution and transition of the business over that time. Uh, we've seen a lot of changes, a lot of developments. Um, back then, when I joined, this business was just over 40% market share. We're now a formidable uh, market leader touching on 58% of this market. But I must attribute a lot of that success um, to the company's relentless um, effort in nurturing and building a competent uh, workforce in Uganda. And obviously, I personally uh, benefited from, uh, from that, uh, that, that program. However, I think it, from my perspective, it's, it's important to underpin you know, certain fundamentals which I think are critical in making sure that uh, you know, building a, a competent workforce and driving the business forward from that perspective is important. Um, first and foremost, I think the commitment from the local leadership has to be there. Um, the local leaders or leadership has to coach um, their talent and they have to create, I think, very clear pathways on what that progression looks like. Um, or else you will ha end up having a very competent workforce that is, is frustrated and may end up leaving the business. So I think the pathways have to be clear. Uh, someone needs to know quite clearly where he's going to be in the next two, three, four years. I personally, that's how um, my, uh, I knew way, well in time uh, on what that pathway looked like. It was also made quite clear on the things that I needed to do or the kind of skills I needed to acquire to be able to move to the next level. Uh, and really, the ball was in my court to make sure that that happened. Um, and that was in itself quite, quite motivational on my part to make sure that uh, you know, I, I did the right things uh, to build my career. Um, the other thing I think that is important uh, is uh, we do have fantastic processes in place. We have uh, the talent management processes in place, but they're just processes. It's more important if we actually implement those, those tools. Um, and again, it really sits with the local leadership to make sure that this is driven through the business. Because that's the only way you can be able to, to track uh, progress. And I guess through that process, it lessens the debate on the next sort of level of progression for any given individual because the track record is documented and is not you know, uh, subject to, to whims or debate. Uh, it's clear that person X has actually uh, you know, done the hard yards, delivered beyond expectation and really acquired the right set of skills to go to the next level. The third thing I think that is critical for um, for talent progression in country specifically is the structure, the internal structures. Um, they have to be sort of vertical enough or deep enough uh, to allow for people to move through the ranks. Um, I, I personally, I joined, uh, when I joined the company, it was at the very entry level as a, as a sales rep, but was able A, to move upwards and across functions into marketing and build my way through uh, from you know brand manager to, to where I am today. Um, but the structure's allowed for that. It, in many of our businesses, we still have very small and flat structures. And, I, and we're facing that challenge today where good talent is asking themselves about what the next step is. Um, but if we had a structures with depth, those questions would be less of, I think, in the business. So I think that's something that also is critical, especially for our African businesses. Africa national, Nationals program specifically, uh, I'll just like hi highlight a couple of things which I think are, are critical going forward. Um, I think th the whole program has to be co-owned uh, between country and centre. Um, so when someone is leaving country, 
to go to another market or to the head office and back into country, that transition and expectation has to be managed. Um, otherwise it could end up as a very ugly situation. Because um, in effect, by doing those uh, movements, you're, you're raising people's expectations. Um, and that has to be well managed. The second thing is the program has to be very well structured. The, the milestones have to be clear with very clear timelines. So if you are on a two-year secondment, what is going to be specifically done within those two years in terms of building your capability has to be very clear and tracked and measured so that after the two years you could comfortably say that this individual is ready to you know, take on the next challenge in their career. SAB um, is a growing business and will present a lot of opportunities, um, especially in Africa. That said though, as future leaders of this business, we have to step up to the plate and build our skills to be able to take on these bigger opportunities um, in the future. Thank you.